It's amazing how much kids take after their parents. Dude, you know how when I daydream, I go like this? Dude, you totally go like that. Well, check Sam out. I wonder what he's thinking. Guys, Sandy's hungry. Can anybody help me out? Sure, sure. Pass him over here. I'm about ready to burst. Thanks. I'd do it myself, but I'm all tapped out. Turk and I had a milk fight in the parking lot. I lost. Okay, Chief, latch on. It's right there. Latch. Latch. He's latched. He's latched. Good. Oh. Dude, we said truce. Count it. I'm off. Uh, you want to go shoot some hoops? I have a baby strapped to my chest. So I just won't pass to you? Cool, same as always. Or you could spend some quality time with your daughter. It seems like you're giving me a choice, but you're really not, are you? Nope, she's not. And the only way to get free will back is to stop caring if you ever get to hit that again. Am I right? Pretty much. Whoa. I'm watching a game. You put that remote down, I'll be prepared to wrestle. Who ordered a can of whoop-ass? I think you did. I want you to see this. Can you see the TV from there, buddy? Unfortunately, you're going to have to get used to events like this. Don't listen to him, Sam. Turk, stop bouncing. I still have nightmares about your cheeks, Turk. Just bouncing and bouncing. Can't sleep. You ready to do this? Mm -hmm. As attending physicians, it was important that Turk and I took an interest in the interns. All right, you're space invaders. Try and stay together, for goodness sake. Game off! All right, Boone, you're the mothership. Josephine, use your annoying voice to make the mothership sound. Go! Does anyone know why we did that? Because you're so mean and stupid. No, we did it to teach you an important lesson about medicine, which we'll reveal to you once you've changed into dry scrubs. What's the lesson? I don't know, we need to come up with something quick, though, because Boone has a concussion and his father's a lawyer. What could we have been teaching them? All right, listen up. I'll tell you one thing, people. You've got to be ready for anything this hospital throws at you. That's perfect. I'll go tell the intern. Wait, wait, let me write it down so you don't forget. It's a good idea. Continue. I've got an overweight patient back there who has already had his stomach stapled and is now taking diet medication that gives you painful diarrhea whenever you eat more than 15 grams of fat at one sitting. Anyone want to guess what he's in the hospital for? I'll give you a hint. It is very painful and it rhymes with schmyaria. You know what? Here's an idea. Patients should just pay me to take the food right out of their hands before they even have a chance to cram it down those disgusting donut mashers they call mouths. I mean, honestly. God. Perry, how many times do I have to say it? We're tired of your speeches. If you can't stop, I'll have to hire an orchestra to play that award show music they use to hustle long-winded Hollywood fruitcakes off the stage. I'm just sick and tired da of... Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Do you think I should try my new I'll take that food right out of your hands diet on him? Does it matter what I say? Does it ever? No. So, I forgot to do laundry this morning, but I stood up to Carla anyway. Wow, that takes a lot of ball. See, I made it singular because you only have one man, Barry. Not for long. I'm getting an implant. Why? Is it because your balance is off? I didn't want to say anything, but you have been turning left more often than usual. No, it's not because, look, I don't even care. It's not like anyone notices. I never stopped noticing. Anyway, Carla wants me to get it, so now I have to pick out a prosthetic. Hello, and welcome to Walmart. Oh, Turk, look at all the different styles. This one has a diamond stud in it. And, and this one says, I'm a stupid, and has an arrow pointing to the real one. This one has a thermostat and doubles as a hand warmer. You know, that would be perfect for next weekend's ice fishing trip. I can't believe we all fell through that hole in the ice. We're gonna warm up soon, we're all gonna die. Hi. Aren't you cold? All right. Come on. All right, now nobody makes eye contact. This is heaven. 
Careful, y'all. That bad boy runs hot. Oh, you're telling me. Hey, guys. How was fishing? It was all right. Best trip ever. Ice fishing five. Hey. You're gonna be late for your shift. I gotta stop with the long fantasies. They're never worth it. Damn, Izzy. You're looking good, girl. Thank you, Sam. You not only have a soft spot in your heart, but you have one in your head. What do you say we hit up a Wiggles concert, then go back to my crib and pop open some formula, see what happens? Come in, taste this brown sugar. Taste this brown sugar. Tark, we can't make him kiss until Sam can hold his head up for real. I miss this, man. If I'm not at work, I'm taking care of Izzy. I feel like I don't get to roll with you or just do goofy stuff. It's just that when I have Sam, I'm so busy, you know? We're up at six, I feed him, I bathe him, and it's poopy time, and it's his poopy time. But that's why we need to get these two together right away. They need to get married so we can hang all the time. There's no guarantees, Turk. The other day I had Sam in the hospital, and when Dr. Cox brought in his daughter, he definitely turned his head. Okay, I turned it, but I could tell he wanted me to. There's plenty of fish in the sea, girl. I don't need you. Like, look at that. You are hot, baby. What is going on over there? I want to hit that. I want to spank it good. I like a spanking. I want to give it to you. I'm sorry, kids, huh? I'll talk to them. Come on, Bob. There's an empty table right there. I'll leave for $10. Pleasure doing business. Hey, friend. What, are you bored up there? Now my college girlfriend, Stacy, broke up with me. She arranged it so that when I came home from class, I was able to see her writhing in pleasure beneath a big brown butt. How many times do I have to apologize for that? I still have nightmares about your cheeks, Turk, just bouncing and bouncing. Can't sleep. Right, and you know what? We can't let fear screw up our relationships. Who wants to end up like Snoop Dogg in turn? Hey. Sorry, Snoop Dogg resident. Hey. Snoop Dogg attending? That's right, baby. All right. The point is, he hasn't told Josephine that she gives him wowzers in his trousers. Hey, hey, be cool, be cool, man. I'm working on it. I'm with you, dog. Just keep it real. What do we do now? Nothing. Nothing happens, so we never have to speak of this again. Hey! Keith? 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 Wait, I was already surprised out loud. I've been thinking. I don't feel right watching this. It's not just us. It's over. Aww. Aww. JD. And now Snoop Dogg attending finally told Josephine how he feels. Aww. Hey, everybody, look. A rainbow. Ooh. There are some images that even doctors can't stomach. That is so gross. I might vomit. Oh, is it the patient with the infected neck wound? Uh, worse. Hey, guys. Like the image of your ex fiance How's it going, Keith? You ruined my life. Nice seeing you. Remember when you wanted to be the doctor who never said terminal? I'm sorry, but your grandmother has an inoperable brain tumor. Is it terminal? I wouldn't say that. So she still has a chance? No. It's OK. I mean, doctor won't say terminal is kind of a mouthful anyway. <laughs> Didn't I tell you two to treat Mr. Meltzer? Yes, but he won't let us. No, no, no. Remember our new system so that I never have to hear your voice again? He doesn't want to be treated by interns with your eye dotted with a heart and a little frowny face at the end. It's incredible. Your handwriting is actually more annoying than your voice. Regardless, you interns are the future of this hospital. And if you don't treat patients, you won't learn. What I want you to do is walk over to Mr. Meltzer and say these words. I'm your doctor. Deal with it. Can you say that? I'm, I'm your, your doctor. doctor. Not you. Never you. I am your doctor. Deal with it. Peachy. Hi, guys. Uh, uh. Is Izzy in a room? Turk hadn't checked, so we had a 50-50 shot of answering correctly. Sleeping like an angel. Really? Because she's on my back. That's unfortunate. Baby pager. 
I'm having a baby. Oh, oh my God, I'm gonna be a Blanco. A, a black, black uncle. uncle. Oh, right. <laughs> you guys, I know when I first brought this up, you thought it was cheesy, but now that it's actually happening, can we do a three-person celebratory jump hug? Please. For you. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, that was cheesy. Should have listened. <laughs> Nothing in my life could compare to this. I'm a dad. That's not your kid. I know, but he reminds me of Sam. That's a girl. Stop ruining it. Why do you have to ruin things? I'm, I'm having a moment here. Let's go. The new patient scale had all the female staffers obsessing about one thing. I need to lose two pounds. Uh, since Keith and I broke up, I haven't been eating or sleeping very well, so I'm down to dress size. You look like you've been sick. Turk, that's so sweet. Come on, baby, let's go see how much you weigh. We all sensed what would happen if Turk didn't let go. Girls! Oh, ah! Oh no! JD! Two hundred and ten pounds! Good. What's it say? <laughs> <laughs> Problem, ladies? <laughs> Damn you, Carla, and your giant rubber stamps! <laughs> Turk, let her go! Sorry, you know what really sucks? Being trapped in an elevator with you while you whine about your stupid life. You know what? It's actually okay. All I need is a little white noise. Here, I've got this new kid, but it's come at the crappiest time of my life. Plus, I'm making that 40 minute drive on a scooter. And if I ever want to bring Sam here, I can't because his stupid flopsy baby neck isn't strong enough to wear a helmet. Later. Later. Anyway, you want to know the cherry on top of the crap Sunday that is my life? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, my loser brother's coming here. I'm not happy. Dude, you need some perspective. This guy came in for a simple spinal fusion. He got septic, and there was nothing we could do. You still want to complain because your brother's coming in today? Ugh, tomorrow. Dan's coming tomorrow. No, actually, he's coming in today. <laughs> He gave me a call, asked me if I'd help him with some embarrassing prank he wanted to pull on you. Thanks for the warning, Turk. You're a good friend. I am. Why are they all here? Zombie Got something on your face. Uh oh, what? Yeah, me. Oh. Such a hoe bag, but I'm still glad I did it. I do declare spending special relationary time with my girlfriend makes me happier than a bullfrog in a beetle bin. Why are you talking like that? Because I'm smitten with my girlfriend, Lady, and this is my smitten voice. Wow, well, what voice do you use when you're smitten? My normal voice. You know what? You hide it well, but you're a very strange person. Bam. <laughs> How'd I do? 17. That's impressive. But I'm going to kick your ass and taunt. What's going on, Seabizzle? We're seeing who could last the longest in Mr. Seller's room. He has a fungal infection under the fat flaps in his stomach. It smells like the time I accidentally put Izzy's doo doo diaper in the microwave. You guys are playing Smelly Belly? <laughs> 16 seconds. Come on. I win. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's how it goes when you fight me. Hold on, Turk. Let's not declare victory until we give a shot to Dr. John Dorian and his nostrils of steel. Your nose can't handle smells of that magnitude. Make some room. Mm-hmm. On the clock. Mm-hmm. You have got to be kidding me. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever smelled. And a sugar-free latte for the winner. Mm. Victory tastes delicious. You guys aren't even friends. Why do you spend so much time competing over everything? Because we're men, mm. and that is what men do. Now a quick look to Turk to see if that is what men do. Huh, what do you know? Don't forget I crushed you and find the vein in the junkie. Yeah, but I beat you good at gauze ball. That's nothing. Yesterday I won free muffins for life by guessing how many coffee beans were in that there jar. Actually, they had a recount. 
You came in second. What? Who came in first? You know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. If anyone needs me, I'll be in my office going to town on these bad boys. Have you seen the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Why are you guys so obsessed with reliving everything you've won? Because we're winners. Oh, and that's what winners do. Back to Turk for confirmation. Damn it. If you'd ever won anything, you'd know what we're talking about. Oh, I've won something, Perry. We threw our nerd farther than yours. Yeah! Suck it, bitch. Guys, I think their nerd is unconscious. We should probably roll him over. That's the moment I realized I wanted to be a doctor. No. I don't care that you've been waiting two hours to be helped. Thank you for letting me think about it. Anybody have an idea how we can calm down the clientele when we're this backed up? You know what would work? Duck pond. Right here. I can't believe I've never said this to you. Nobody cares what you think. Since the geriatric wing was being remodeled, Turk and I were herding old people to their new rooms. That's a closet, Mr. Jenkins. Come on, Mr. Benedetti, you're only a few thousand tiny steps away. JD, we need to find a way to move these gomers faster. All aboard! The love train. I wish it didn't have to end. Hey! That's a nice jacket. Jack. What is that? Wool? It's a poly nylon blend. Do you really like it? No. The bathroom's just out of paper towels. I know it's confusing, but these are your new rooms, okay? Please try and stay put. Great. Bye bye. <laughs> We made it. I love you, man. I love you, too. Oh, smell like an athlete. Mm. I need one of those. A hug? No, a black friend. I think it would make me much cooler. I should be offended, but he's right. Why are you so gloomy? I thought you'd be super psyched that Kelso's being forced out of his job. Dr. Kelso's being forced out? I did not know that. Will you excuse me for a moment? <laughs> Buddy, are you all right? Ted? Are you not talking because your mouth is filling up with blood? You're going to pass out, aren't you? Oh, boy, there he goes. Yipes. How exciting is it that you run this place now? <laughs> I'm so proud of you. It's like a whole new day is done. Do me a big favor there, Barbu. Get that prescription filled for me. One chill pill. It's for you. Unlimited refills. Hey, Chief. I need your approval on the settlement letter from the drug company that makes Plomox. Turns out if diabetics take it, it can cause hypertension or even death. Diabetics can die from what? From not doing the laundry this morning the way they promised to. Baby, I ain't never promised to do the laundry. I promised I'd try to get to it, and I wasn't able to. This stuff happened on Bob's watch. I'm quite certain he'd want to take care of it. Won't you please give him a call? <laughs> he wasn't receptive. That's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. It is? This is gonna come back to you in a good way. What kind of a good way? In the boudoir, right? Up high. We're getting a little old to be making such a big deal out of having sex. Yeah, you're right. I'm just playing, man! <laughs> Thank goodness. When you said that, I died a little inside. Give it up for me getting some. Uh, upstairs. Downstairs. Mm, uh, um, I don't really like downstairs. Really? Well, I wanted to try it. Hey, J.D., you keep reeling them in, I'll keep reeling them out. Awesome appropriateness, Doug. 
Carol, we're ready for our sponge bath. Thank you, Carol. Hey, why was your baby boy dressed like Caesar this morning? Oh, I don't have clothes for Sam in my house, so I just cut arm and leg holes in a pillowcase. The gold belt was just so he wouldn't feel ridiculous. JD, you're a parent now. You gotta be better prepared. Yep, yeah, that's why we just stocked up on extra baby oil lotion and diapers. Mm -hmm. Why? Is there a party this weekend? <laughs> Recently, we realized that with Todd, if we didn't move and stayed very quiet, he'd eventually get confused and leave. Anyway, much like one-hit wonder Natalie Imbruglia, I'm torn. You see, on one hand, I'm tempted to side with the Gandhis. You do need to buy Sam some clothes. On the other hand, ever since you two made a baby, you've become an even more annoying two-headed know-it-all. Bing, bing! You hear that, Perry? That's the sound of your hate bouncing off our love. <gasps> Bing, bing, bing. Uh.